Hey everybody, this is Will with AppAddict.net, and today I'm bringing you a new review on the Pixel Skin HD Wrap by Spec. It's for the brand new iPad. And I'm really excited about this one because the Spec Pixel Skin HD for my iPhone is like my go-to case. It is one of my favorite cases out there. I, that's my daily case. So, you know, I didn't care for the first version of this for the iPad 2 as I used what they called a, was it gecko tape, I believe. And it's a sticky adhesive that keeps this front flap stuck to the iPad. It, it didn't have what they introduced in this one is this, this clasp here that latches on. So I flat out didn't use it. I didn't want the adhesive getting on my screen or anything. So I, I went the other way. Well, this came out and they um, obviously made some changes to it. It, uh, and I actually never even used the first one. I only watched a couple video reviews on it and went the other way. So I'm reviewing this Pixel skin for the uh, you know iPad for the first time. And sadly, I'm extremely disappointed. I had my hopes up so high. And I need to apologize to you guys, the viewers, right off the bat, because this review isn't going to be normal. Um, I'll just come out and be blunt and say it. I had a lot of problems with this case uh, lifting screen protectors. Uh, I went through three of them, and if you can imagine, if you've ever bought iPad screen protectors, they're not cheap. Luckily, you know, I've got extras, you know, sitting around that I've got with cases and so forth from reviewing. But I went through three. Um, I went through a U-Bow, which is kind of a cheaper one. I went through a Switch Easy and a power support. Um, and it lifted all of them and bubbled them all. Two of them were ruined. I was able to, um, the, the power support lived to see another day. So it's okay. However, this review is going to be a little bit different, and I'm sorry for running my mouth here, but I need to get this disclaimer out there. I am reviewing this case with a fake dummy unit iPad. It has the same weight, the same build, everything, but it's not real. You can get these, and I'm sure someone's going to ask me, where do you get a fake iPad? You get them off eBay or Amazon.com. They're used for uh, you know, getting measurements for making case designs and so forth, or uh, trade show events for demoing case designs. So. I'm using a fake iPad to do this because I'm not screwing up another screen protector. And uh, that's a big deal to me. So that's my disclaimer. Using a fake iPad, everything is the same. You'll see, because I'll show it to you in just a moment. Anyway, so this is for the iPad 3. It's um, got the cool pixel look to it. It's sleep wake. It's got two typing angles. And, you know, just like any other case out there, it should have everything to work. And you can kind of see the typing, st typing and viewing positions here. They look just like the smart cover design. So let's get this boring box out of the way. And here is the actual case. Um, like I said, it's got the pic the typical pixel, uh, the, I don't know, the, the pixel skin look to it, like the iPhone version does where the dots are matte finish and in between them are shiny. Um, new to this version is the clasp on the side here. So it keeps it shut. Um, back is the same, got, the, got a little logo there and the pixels. As you can see, everything lines up. Like I said, this is a fake iPad, but uh, everything lines up perfect. And yes, I checked everything on my original, I mean, on my iPad 3 or third gen iPad, and it's the same. Like I said, it's the same exact thing. It's designed to be the same iPad. So as you can see, everything lines up. Oh, the mute switch doesn't work because it's fake. Um, yeah, so everything lines up great. Uh, no problems with that. Um, let me go ahead and unclasp this up here. It's a little tough, tough to unclasp. Uh, it takes a little bit of muscle, but that's not a complaint. Um, that's the point of it. Okay, so the, the, where this case begins is where it ends. I do not like, as you can see, I mean, I can pull that aside and it, it sticks already to the side of the iPad. The, the fit is so tight that any screen protector, like I said, I tried three different ones and for how long I've been reviewing stuff and, you know, friends, family, etc., I am pro at putting on these screen protectors. In fact, I'm working on a video for it. Um, I get them on perfectly straight, all that great stuff. And the, just the lip here, oops, I'm not even on the camera. The lip here, it, it is so tight to the top of the iPad that it will lift just about any screen protector. I'm, I'm sure, you know, people are getting lucky out there and it's working, but I went through three. Uh, and I'm not going through more. So, you know, it is a tight fit with this rubber lip. It is a thick TPU rubber. So, you know, it does protect the iPad. It, you know, I'm gonna review this as if you're not gonna use a screen protector too. So, without a screen protector, this thing works great. Or going in here. As you can see, you know, it's a tight fit, but that's, you know, it's got so many problems. It's so frustrating. Um, this page over here, the, the front 
flap here is very stiff. You know, I've contacted them and they said there's a small break in period. And, you know, I've had it on here and I used it on my other one without a screen protector, yeah, for a little bit. And I haven't had any luck breaking it in yet. Um, it uses the, tri uh, the triangular stand to make it, ugh. It is so stiff. No jokes. Okay, so there's a standing position, or the typing position, but as you can see, this rubber here is so tight that after a while, it see, it wants to unfold so easily. So, ugh. okay, yeah, you can kind of see it's already a pain in the butt. Just this rubber is so tough that it wants to automatically, see, it's, it's so frustrating that the rubber automatically wants to unflap and shoot this thing out. So this is a pain in the butt to use on your lap. So you're gonna use it on a table and once you get it in that spot, do not type hard, otherwise it will fling back out. So yeah, so, um, really tight there. It, but you know, it works maybe with a little bit of more break-in period, it'll work better. But all right, let's go ahead into the standing position. This is where everyone's having trouble. Well, first off, it doesn't really document this very well. So it's, I, the only way I figured it out was looking at good pictures on their website. And what happens is you, you need to put your hand on this and it comes forward and ugh, yeah, iPad, there we go. It, it locks into, well, actually, no, there we go. Ugh, see how clumsy this is. And I deal with a lot of iPad cases and this one's just really clumsy. So there you go. Um, it's locked in. The lip of this case here, the case, the rubber part here, locks into the, the clasp. So as you can kind of see, you know, that's how it looks and how it will look. Um, this standing position is a lot better. Obviously, compared to the typing position, this is a lot better. Um, I guess the one problem I've seen in a lot of reviews, um, and, you know, mine's not really doing it, is that they've had this rubber lip here, this piece right here, it'll it'll start to pull down. The clasp will pull it down if you get this locked in, like that, perfect. Um, let me pull it up to the camera. The clasp pulls off the rubber, like so. So you can kind of see it pulling it off. So you need to be careful, see now it's off the, the screen. So you need to like take it off, ugh, pop it on as you heard, and get it back down there. So if, there it is, see now it's fine. But if you push it down too far, like you really want to, you want to hear it click in, um, it's, ugh, it's so weird. Yeah, see, it pulls it right off. So if you push it down too far, there. Anyway, so if you get it down just right, you're good. It's stable and it's great. And, you know, it works. But in, in this position, you're not gonna, oh, Jesus, you can hear it pop out like that. So really, you know, the problems with this are just all over the place. For me, screen protectors are a big deal. I like having a screen protector no matter what. So no, I can't use a screen protector on this. So, and I went through three of them, you know, like I said, maybe you can get lucky and it'll work. This piece is way too thick for a typing position or it needs to be redesigned or something. The, the triangular method is just way too goofy. So you can kind of, there. Um, and even then it's kind of weird. So yeah, see, I think that'll hold fine, but uh, it's still, you know, any, and it just really wants to flat, flat out there. Um, I don't know if this is a design flaw. I, I think it's kind of lazy. Um, you can see right there, that's the magnet. I, I would have liked that to be not looking like that. I like it to be just like in the rubber, but not a big deal. A lot of cases, like a lot of cases coming out with a magnetic wake on off feature to do that. Anyway, I think, you know, that's about it for this case. There, it's not a bad case. It's got, it's just got a lot of flaws, which, you know, in my eyes, to me, for me, I wouldn't use this case. I see it as a bad case. I'm really disappointed. I, I just don't like the rubber. I don't like this because um, it kills pretty much any screen protector. I don't like the standing position just for the, case, the, the, the issue of it. It actually will tug at the rubber here and pull it off the iPad if you don't have it perfect. The typing position is terrible. And um, I think that's about it. <laughs> the clasp does work. It's, you know, there you go. It holds it on nice and tight. And, uh, you know, everything lines up okay, and it, it looks good. And I, and I think it does offer a nice amount of protection. Um, you're not going to throw this, you know, six feet up in the air and let it slam down. Of course, you don't want to do that at all. But um, it's fairly, you know, thin. It gets the job, job done. And um, everything lines up. 
it's just got so many small technical flaw flaws that for me, it, it's a no-go. Um, more specifically is the, uh, you know, screen protector in the positions. They're just too wonky. This rubber, I just don't think was the way to go. So anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. Maybe they'll go back and fix a couple things and maybe release really vision. You know, I can hope. Um, oh, and the sleep wake feature when I used it a lot on my iPad doesn't work every time. It was a maybe one in three it worked and which is kind of annoying since it's a giant cutout you can see there for the magnet. One in three times it worked. So just another thing to add to the top of the list. If you go to their website, you know, at specproducts.com, go to the product listing for this and there's a little review tab at the bottom and check that out and you'll see all the same type of comments that I'm pretty much thrown out at you here. So anyway, um, that is it for the Pixel Skin HD wrap for the brand new iPad. This works for the iPad too as well. Um, sorry, this review was a little bit long and hopefully you guys will forgive me for using a demo iPad. Like I said, a lot of people will wonder where I got this. You can get these off eBay for 20 bucks. They work great for, uh, you know, testing stuff out. So that will do it for this. Thank you very, very much, everybody, and I'll see you next time.